Let me talk a little bit about the Hilbert dream, how this project came to be. As I said before, I uh, have a major in mathematics. So looking back into my dreams, as I usually do, I realized I had many dreams about mathematics. Subjects in mathematics are very uh, close to dream work because of the words they use. For example, you get words and concepts like inner product. You get uh, a subject that is called topology. You get a subject that is called graph theory, uh, functional analysis. When I began to have dreams uh, about mathematics, what I realized, uh, apart from the practical uh, moment where the dream occurred, is that being at the university is where one learns new stuff to deal, to work with in the world. So for me, it was very natural to have uh, mathematic uh, dreams because that was the major I had. Now, in the series of dreams I looked at, and knowing that I do uh, work with patterns on my own dreams and dreams of others, when I had this dream where I find Hilbert that tells me, if you really want to know if it makes sense at all to do those patterns and uh, what they mean, you have to do it on dreams of the past decade worldwide. I said, well, that's another dream that is very uh, symbolical, that belongs to my, to my um, history, personal history. But then I realized that it was the first time I had dreamt with a mathematician, a known and a very well-known mathematician at that. So days afterwards, even months, I could say, I was looking back at those dreams and then I realized, well, uh, things have changed. Things have changed because now we do have the resources to uh, find people who share your interests, who collect their dreams, who have been uh, writing down their journals for the past, not even a decade, but two or three uh, also. And uh, you could really do that in a community, in a social community through the net. So that was, that's how the Hilbert dream uh, came into focus. But then I asked myself, why Hilbert? Why any other mathematician? Because there are many very well-known mathematicians who, who could have said the same thing. And then uh, looking into Hilbert's uh, story, I realized that Hilbert, uh, I didn't realize, I, find out, I found out that Hilbert had addressed a congress of mathematicians in year 1900 in Paris, where he presented the congress with 23 problems he had been looking at into uh, the knowledge mathematics had at the time. And he realized that the next century next century of mathematicians would have to uh, deal with those subjects in terms of formalizing mathematics, in terms of uh, connecting all the different knowledges and solve many uh, contradictions and lack of uh, formality. So what was interesting about him is that he uh, proposed a new way to integrate different aspects of mathematics that had been lingering and hadn't been taken uh, to, uh, 
to make a core, to make a structure for mathematics. Well, that gave me a hint that perhaps what we could do was uh, to propose to the world, and that is what Dreamverse is about, to propose a place where we harvest the dreams of the past 10 years, you harvest the dreams you can harvest, of course, your own dreams of your community, of people you know, and find ways to work with them, and perhaps knitting and weaving those uh, dreams and uh, connecting them with the past history, we come up with what Dreamverse, uh, with what would be for Dreamverse, the 23 problems uh, we are really facing right now.